Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm just going to be uploading my R4's um, SD card from 2GB to 128GB. So, all you need to do is take your old SD card out your R4, um, put that in the USB adapter. Now you just want to plug this into your PC and copy the files across to your PC. Alright guys, so I'm on my PC now. Here is my R4 card. As you can see, it's only 1.86 gigabytes. It's basically a 2 gigabyte SD card. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the content. So I'm just going to create a new folder in my downloads. I'm just going to call it R4. I'm just going to go on my SD card, drag all of this stuff, right click, copy. Now I'm just going to find my folder and I'm just going to paste it in here. Right guys, so as you can see it's done done transferring into my downloads folder, so here is just my R4 backup. Now you guys can either format your old card or just leave the software on there, it's up to you what you're going to do with it, but whatever you want to do, you're just going to want to eject it safely, so eject USB storage. There you go, the card has been ejected, so what I'm going to do now is just install my 128GB SD card into my adapter and then plug that into my PC. Right guys, so once the files are on your PC, you're just going to want to change this for the 128GB one or whatever your new SD card is and copy the files from your old SD card onto this one. Right guys, so I'm back. My 128GB card is now in. As you can see, it's USB drive F. So I'm just going to go into my downloads, my R4 backups right here. I'm just going to select all of this stuff and copy it over to my USB drive F. Okay guys, download has finished, so here you go, USB drive F. As you can see, everything's on here. And it's 124 gig, and it's only 439 megabytes used. So that's good, it's got all my games, you just want to check all the software's here and everything. And yeah, I'm just going to plug this into my um, DS and see if it works. Okay guys, so I've got all my R4 files and games now on this new SD card. So I'm just going to put this into my R4 and then test it and see if it works on my DS. If you get any problems, you're probably going to want to format your SD card to FAT. So you go, it's booting up fine. And here you go, that's pretty much it. Now you can just run any game and install more games because you've got a lot more storage space. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.